Hello dear students, let's see this very recent question of JE Advanced 2019, a very good question involving collision. So the question states, a small particle of mass m moving inside a heavy hollow and a straight tube along the tube axis undergoes elastic collision at two ends. The tube has no friction and it is closed at one end by a flat surface while the other end is fitted with a heavy movable flat piston as shown in the figure. When the distance of the piston from the close end is L is equal to L naught, the particle speed is V is equal to V naught, the piston is moved inwards at a very low speed, capital V, such that capital V is much much smaller than DL by L into V naught. So that would mean that it is moving in finite is really small. Where DL is the infinitesimal displacement of the piston, where which of these following statement is are correct? So we'll uh, check each option one by one. So first of all, let me draw my diagram. I will check first uh, option A that uh, how much particle speed changes or increases with every collision. So suppose this is a situation as given. The piston is moving with a constant speed v, very small speed and that speed is not changing. And suppose a particle at velocity v1 just before collision, one collision and after the collision its speed has become v2 and due to collision it is a, the speed of the piston does not change. So that still is capital V and uh, <clears throat> collision elastic so velocity of separation is e times of velocity approach velocity of separation is uh, v2 plus capital v e is one elastic collision so one into velocity approach is uh, v1 velocity of separation is v2 minus capital v it is and velocity of approach is v1 plus capital v so now we can see that v2 minus v1 is not change in velocity it is change in speed so v2 minus v1 is co comes out to be 2v so uh, this is the change in speed in every collision so we can say that with every collision speed changes by twice of the velocity of piston and that will be using another option and this option a is correct I want to make a plot of uh, a speed with time. It will give some insight uh, what kind of motion is happening. So suppose if I make a plot of a speed with time. Suppose uh, just before hitting its velocity was v1. And then immediately after hitting the speed has increased by 2v. So it increased by 2v and it will be 2v till it hits again. So for some time the speed will be 2v. And it is also moving but uh, very small. But after another hit speed will further increase by 2v but uh, because the speed has uh, increased and this piston is also moving very slowly. So now it will have to cover a less distance. So the interval between next collision will be smaller. So uh, increase in the speed will be the same but the next collision will come faster. So the graph will look like this. The graph of a speed with time will look like this and this question is inspired by molecular collision. The In the molecular collision what happens that uh, <clears throat> speed of molecules is uh, molecules are very large and uh, distance between two consecutive collision that is called the mean free path is very small so relaxation time in the time interval between two consecutive collisions is negligibly small so uh, the graph that is looking like a discrete graph if the interval between these two collision where it discreetly increases that interval is very small so that would appear to be an almost continuous graph and that's what we'll be using so that graph would be something like that continuous increasing graph. So if the graph is continuously increasing so we can introduce a change in speed dv in a little time dt. 
actually the change in speed is happening after finite finite interval so we cannot use calculus kind of thing dv but the interval between the two collisions is very small and that's what that is given that the capital v capital v is very very small compared to small even small v is very large so we can get the we can introduce the idea of using calculus so uh, i am using this as a variable velocity the speed of collision is increasing with time and uh, the this distance is also i am using a variable the variable that is given in the question is l but i'll be using x because there that we are more uh, comfortable with using x and when we'll have to check the option i'll put back to the l or l naught so suppose at time t this is a picture of time t at time t uh, the molecule have a speed v and uh, molecule could be anywhere here and the separation of this piston this and from this and this separation is say x and in that interval in that interval uh, from t to t plus dt now the time is t plus dt the piston has moved a little distance here so the distance moved by the piston this distance i am using calculus because this is the increasing direction of x so uh, if i will have to write dx in this direction i'll write dx so in that direction displacement i will write minus dx and now the velocity of the particle after collision has changed in this interval velocity not speed has become v plus dv and this is between t to t plus dt now let me remove this part so speed of uh, or the velocity of this piston is displacement uh, divided by time interval so i can first of all write the velocity of the piston as minus dx by dt and that is logical also because uh, x is decreasing with time and we want to find the collision frequency frequency of collision mean the rate at which the this particle is colliding uh, with this piston at time t because that frequency is also uh, changing it is actually increasing so frequency of collision frequency of collision mean the number of collisions in one second Uh, let me write it f so what is that frequency frequency is the reciprocal of time interval between two consecutive collision at that time so suppose i am talking at time t frequency so uh, it is moving with the speed v and suppose it collides here and it will go here here after collision with this fixed speed will not change so from here to here and then again coming back to here speed will remain v and it will have to cover a total distance of 2x so time taken would be uh, 2x by v and that is what the frequency and you can see here with every collision speed is changing so this is increasing and x is decreasing so frequency is changing so uh, let me check the option 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 d is saying the rate at which particle strikes the piston is v by l now uh, the, in the question whatever is given x that x is uh, whatever given l that i have written uh, x so that x is l so that will become v by 2l according to the question and, uh, and the option is saying that becomes v by l the rate of collision so that is a wrong option option d is incorrect and now uh, uh, let's go ahead then we'll come back to the other option so so what is the uh, a speed change in one collision 2v so i am writing change in speed in one collision is 2v that is fine and in one second these many collisions are taking place so if i ask what is the change in speed in one second so the change in speed in one second uh, in one second f number of collision are taking place and in every collision 2v speed is changing so that will be twice v into f so if i ask what is the change in speed in 
टाइम डी टी सो दिस इज अ चेंज इन स्पीड एंड वन सेकेंड सो चेंज इन स्पीड एंड टाइम डी टी वुड बी ट्वाइस वी एफ इन टू डी टी एंड द चेंज इन स्पीड फ्रॉम टी टू टी प्लस डी टी इज दिस वी टू वी प्लस डी वी सो दिस थिंग इज एक्चुअली डी वी सो आई कैन राइट दिस डी वी इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस वी एफ डी टी एंड फ्रॉम हियर आई वॉन्ट टू राइट डी टी सो इफ आई राइट डी टी सो दैट डी टी आई हैव टेकन एवरी वेरी केयर ऑफ द साइन हेयर so that would become twice v f that dt i can write uh, uh, minus dx by capital v capital v capital v cancels out so this dv will become uh, i can put the value of x now so the uh, value of f now v by 2x so twice f will be v by x so that will be minus v by x dx and now can this i'll be using for the next option but there is one option that i am going to check so the option d is saying the, the piston moves inwards by inwards by dl so this distance is dl actually the distance that i have written minus dx that is dl so minus dx is equal to dl and then that relation will become dv is equal to uh, v by x dl and the x at a general time is l so v by l dl and uh, this answer option b is also incorrect because here it is written 2v dl by l so that is incorrect and now we'll check the change in kinetic energy uh, when the piston moves in what from l not to l not by 2 so now using this thing this is the speed change in speed this is speed when the separation from here to here was x so using this thing uh, i can write dv by v is equal to minus dx by x and will integrate it with suitable limits x is the l so when the x was l not the speed was v not and when the x become l not by 2 mean the initially when the separation was l not speed was v not and when it has become l not by 2 so then suppose the speed becomes v so that will be uh, l not by v this is simple logarithmic integration that will give me ln v by v not and that will give me after putting limit ln 2 so v by v not will become 2 mean v will become twice v not so uh, when the separation will become l not by 2 speed will become double of the initial speed and the speed becomes double so uh, kinetic energy will increase by four time because kinetic energy is proportional to speed square so option option uh, c option c is correct option c is saying the particle kinetic energy increases by a factor of 4 when the piston is moved inward from l not to l not by 2 and that is correct thank you